as a Vedic astrologer, I am constantly being asked about relationships. And people ask me for relationship advice a lot. In fact, uh, people are usually coming to me with a variety of concerns around relationships. But mostly, you know, when will I meet my soulmate? Um, am I doomed to struggle in relationships? Um, why have I experienced so much pain and heartbreak with my relationships? Am I stuck in bad relationship karma or is there hope? And then there are others who are, you know, concerned about why their family dynamics have been so challenging and so painful and why they've experienced so much loss and heartbreak and even death in their lives as a result of being in relationship. Relationships bring up a lot of wounding and a lot of pain as well as a lot of joy and pleasure and connection. So this is a topic that comes up a lot in session with clients and um, even as people reach out for me for guidance and support. And so, you know, a lot of these questions can be answered by looking at your Jodas chart and understanding your life karmas and why you're here and what your karmas tell you about the lessons that you're here to learn and how you're progressing. And relationships are a big part of our growth and our healing and our inner work. But what most people don't realize is that without changing the underlying root cause of these karmas and the root causes of the suffering and the pain, nothing actually will change. And yes, we do have quite a bit of control over our karma and changing it so that we don't repeat the same patterns and behaviors and struggles over and over and over again. These are a lot of the resources that I teach my clients to actually get to the root cause of the suffering rather than staying in patterns of being stuck and unfulfilled and in lack for their entire lives. You don't actually have to stay stuck. But here's what most people don't realize is that the first chakra is actually intimately connected to how nourished you feel by your relationships and how able you are to attract a nourishing relationship. Nourishing relationships, whether it be in business or intimate relationships or friendships or even in your family dynamics. It's the first chakra that really sets up and sets the tone for your ability to connect and co-create with others in a harmonious, aligned way. So here's a question for you. This little test will determine how connected you are to your first chakra and if any disconnection or disharmony is, or dis-ease is setting you up for failure in your relationships setting you up for being malnourished in your relationships. So here's the little test. I want you to think about a loss that you experienced in relationship. This may be an early loss. It may be a recent loss. You may have experienced a series of losses in relationships. But think about the one that stands out right now. That loss in relationship that is most poignant to you and perhaps the most painful. So I want you to think about the story that comes up around this loss, this relationship loss. And what are the feelings that come up? What's the story? What are the words that emerge when you think about this loss? And again, write these down because we're going to use them for some inner work and some resourcing at the end of this mini-series. And I'm also teaching 
a workshop for those who are interested in going deeper and we'll gather all of these resources and tools that you've been harvesting and we'll put them to good use in the workshop. So hang on to them. So as you write down this story of your loss, I want you to see that this is a place within you that doesn't feel safe. It's not feeling safe to connect. It's not feeling safe to go deeper and become more intimate because there's this wounding there's a part of you that is still holding on to this loss, this wound that creates a lack of safety, a lack of feeling supported, a lack of feeling connected to yourself and others. And without being able to heal this deep wound around loss and all the subsequent losses, and all the losses that make have come before this loss. It's like having a bottomless pit of loss and emptiness that continues to attract and create situations and experiences and relationships that just mirror the lack, the loss, the heartache, the grief, the suffering and the struggles. So without cleaning this up and healing this wound around your loss and your losses, it's as though the memory within you and the subconscious memory continues to attract and align more losses that actually align with this feeling of emptiness and loss and struggle that is within you. So this story can be changed, it can be healed, and it can be transformed with work, with willingness, with the right resources and tools. And I'll be sharing more about that with you in the coming videos. In my next video, I'm going to share with you how your dharma, your life path, your soul's purpose is intimately connected to your first chakra. And why, without healing your first chakra, you will never be able to create your dharmic path and fully align with your passion, your purpose, and your inner wisdom.